No more, but uh, <laughs> then I, would, I had the heart attack in May of last year, and during that time, I was diagnosed uh, as a di with diabetes. I began to read everything I could about it. How can I, how can I beat this stuff? And then I went to a program in Patagonia to reverse diabetes, which uh, which I did. My my blood count was 305, and it came down to 95. And the day before yesterday, it was now it's 97. It was 88 before that, and it was 66, 67 before that. So I keep it pretty low. Uh, fresh vegetables, raw vegetables. That's what I do. Um, but anyway, um, I now know the IHS is saying there's about 55% of our people are diabetics, but I now know and I now believe that it's much closer to 90% and it's yeah. epidemic. Mm. So that's what I want to do uh, next year is try to convince people <coughs> to re that we can reverse it. The American Diabetes Association is saying that there's no cure for diabetes. And I believe there is. I mean, we can prevent it, we can reverse it, and we can keep it out of our body. So, and we, can't, we, can't, we can't do that with fry bread. We can't do that with fried eggs. We can't, and, and not, you know, <laughs> laying there and watching television all night long, you know, with a belly full of uh, fried spuds. Uh, Grease, fat. So we got to get rid of that stuff. we got to get on the road and walk. Uh, if you can run, you know, you got to start doing that. So, please, uh, if you can be part of this walk next year, I want to, February 14th, which is Heart Day. I mean, Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to leave from La Jolla, California, which is near San Diego, straight across where uh, we're going to be running into the what's going on now at uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to skirt uh, where all that oil is at and. We'll be there praying uh, with the people and to help clean up Mother Earth. So, um, see if you can see if you can lend a hand on on this walk next year. Come and walk one one day or one week, or uh, you know, I'm I'm just, I'm going to be very strict on this one about about what our diet has to be on this walk. So, okay, does anybody have any questions uh, before we? Leave. We are. Uh, yes. Okay. I just have one thing to say that's so awesome. When you when when I was really little, you um, you helped me do a poster that was on Native pride, and that's always been with me. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Um, so sometimes I see I see people this this. Mm -hmm this big and then so many years go by and all of a sudden they're this big and they got two or three kids so uh, um, that's, that's, that's what I love about my life I've had the opportunity to be everyone of your age I've had the opportunity to be young you know teenager middle age and past senior now um, so <laughs> I'm I'm as old older than America. <laughs> so. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. That, uh oh. That, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> the American Indian movement. I know so many of my relatives, including myself, have been suicidal and have felt so self-destructive and so little belief in themselves and so on the verge of wanting to die because we have no pride and no visibility and all those things that aim you people, you, you solid soldiers, you warriors, gave us in our hearts and in our inner beings, you are one of the reasons, one of the big reasons for Native people being able to, to survive or get another day. And thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. And that's what, that's what we have to do all of our life. We have to help each other, you know. We, um, well, we, can't, we can't turn our backs on each other. Um, and I know as a close-knit community, sometimes we, we, we bicker and fight amongst each other uh, when there's a greater, bigger war out there, and yet we, we spin our wheels, you know, spending a lot of time 
you know, um, just a nothing. So decolonize. Um, we have you have a, a, a huge challenge, and that is to to live a life that is full of challenge, full of uh, you know there's obstacles in front of you, but you should never turn away from that obstacle. You should just meet it head on, and 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 you know find a way to make the obstacle go away. And if it doesn't go away, then just go over it. Keep on going. You know, don't dwell. Don't dwell on 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 on, on anything that that going to try and prevent you from doing something. Just keep going. That's what that's what you got to do. You got to keep getting up in the morning and. You know, putting on your shoes and uh, your running clothes and keep going at it. That's a big challenge. Um, I love I love this challenge. Um, when I was laying in the laying in in the hospital uh, following the heart attack, I started to think of all the friends that I've met, and most a lot of people are here who are who are my friends. But I began to think of, oh my God, all over this world, I've, not so much Europe, but in the Far East, uh, where I've been mostly, mostly all my life, and um, I began to think, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down, and I'm gonna go, go see these people one, one more time, and uh, thank them for what they've done, how they've helped me, just like uh, what you've said, um, and these people did help me. People did help me, and that's what made me go another day. That's what made me go another mile, is the help and the generosity that, of, of the people, a lot of people who are sitting in this, in this audience tonight. So uh, I want to thank you. Um, thank you so much. Uh, my family thanks you. Uh, you see uh, Tosh, uh, she's taken over a lot of my responsibilities. I have another son. Uh, Buffalo, he's taken over a lot, of, a lot of my responsibility. So we still have the this, this maple syrup business and the wild rice, but I'm gonna let them do that now. So I can just go out and walk wherever I want to walk. That's what that's what I said. I'm just, I want to I want to do that. So, again, um, I want to thank my longtime friend uh, Takeo Koshikawa. 30 some years that he's been by my side, um, and actually 32 years, uh, because he was on the first longest walk in 1978, 32 years ago, Coach Kyle was there. And he was doing exactly what he's doing now, he's filming people. <laughs> and, uh, so a lot of our archival stuff actually comes from Doc Hale. So I want to say two things too, there's two people who are missing uh, from from this. One of them is uh, Red Crow Westerman, the other one is Bill Wapapa. Uh, they're, they're not in this picture, but um, we now have real strong plans on doing uh, probably, uh, I'm going to do three more books. One of them is about Bill Wapapa, and of course uh, a documentary about uh, Red Crow, uh, because he was you know, the Bay Area was home to him in many different ways. So, you know, he lived in L.A., but you know he was always around here. So we're going to have, uh, it may be in the next two years we'll see, you'll be seeing me again and saying, now we have a, a real good, you know, two-hour film about Floyd Westerman. So, and, but also for Bill Wapapa, who was also a great dear friend of mine. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways.